Oh, hello. In today's video, we're going to wildly speculate about the Kill Team content that's coming in White Dwarf issue 478. Now, the eagle eyed among you will be thinking, but Phil, you already talked about this. Indeed, I did. Back when all we had was the red banner that's on the right of the screen now from the, the back of the previous issue of White Dwarf. Um, let me tell you how making a YouTube video on a Sunday works on this channel. I always wait for the next Week in Warhammer article to go up and see if it's something that I want to make commentary about. And I do, because it's a Kill Team release. It's not a massive, exciting box full of new plastic. It's not even a new bespoke team. But I think there is some stuff here for Kill Team that we can really talk about and get excited about. I really genuinely do. So, Enhanced Kill Team Rules. Little quote from the article. 478 is an essential issue for sci-fi fans with expanded rules for terrain and kill team. And on the front here we can see it says, Enhanced Terrain Rules. Enhanced. Expanded. So, in my last video on this subject, I thought it was going to be new, um you know, new kill zones, because previously what we had was kill team kill zones. But now I don't think it is going to be new kill zones. I think it's going to be more rules for the kill zones that we already have, because that's what the words expanded and enhanced mean. They mean adding on to what's gone before. Um, now, they didn't show the contents page in the video for next week in Warhammer. I really thought they would do. Because often they'll put it in the video, they'll do a little pan and scan over the contents page. And you can learn a little bit more about what's going to be in the articles. Alas, not this time around. Now maybe what they're going to do is just print a page with a picture of the Octarius ruins and the door. And they're going to have a big arrow pointing to the door. And they're going to have the door rule from Chalnath. And they're going to say, this is a door. And then you flip over the next page and have the gate from Morok, right? And a big arrow and point to it and say, this is a door as well. Like, I'll actually go and buy shares in Games Workshop if that's what they do. Because that, 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 that's obviously what certain segments of the community really need them to do. It's just to, to really tightly define that a door is a door. I'm taking the piss. If you haven't seen the video where she's like something something and a small rant about doors, then you need to go back and watch that video. Judging by the... Um, the little graphs that I get in the creator's studio, that was a very popular video. So obviously I need to absolutely lose my biscuits about something trivial uh, over and over and over again. Um, now, there is the possibility that these new rules will be kind of narrative rules that everyone ignores. So a funny story from the Warhammer World Tournament that I went to um, last weekend. In my game against Commandos, and granted this was a brand new player, but he like starts manoeuvring his grot. He'd scored some victory points with his grot, and he starts manoeuvring his grot around the board, and he's like, I want to get over there. And I'm like, okay, and he, he grapple hooks down, and he gets to the little, um, the little hatch on the ground. And he goes, okay, I open the hatch, and I'm like, it doesn't do anything. And then at Warhammer World, they've got these little placemats with all the terrain rules on. And they're cropped out of the book. And he gets his placemat and he points to the one with the hatch. And it's got the rules for the hatch about how you go through and you earn the experience points. And I'm like, yes. But experience points don't do anything in matched play. And he's like, but why is it on the sheet? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't make the sheet. But it doesn't do anything. Literally the only effect on the game that the hatch has is that it um, you can't end your turn on it. That's it. So maybe it's going to be fun narrative rules like that that everyone ignores. It's possible. And we'll all be feeling very let down. Wishlisting in the realm of enhanced terrain rules and expanded rules. You know what I want to say? I want to see matched play layouts. Man, if you hang around on, um, uh, you know, on, on, on discords and things, especially after a Warhammer World event, the first thing people are asking for is, hey, can we see how they lay out the tables? Imagine if they just came up with like three match play layouts using the Octarius set, three match play layouts using the Chalna set, three match play layouts using the Natman set, and three match play layouts using the Morok set. Imagine what that could do for the meta 
if everybody had this common language of the, these are the maps. These are the maps. So you play on this map, 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 this map. You know, three maps per box. Using the terrain in the box. For some of the boxes, maybe they'll even try and make a sale and say, look, you need to go and buy this set or this set or this container to add to it. But these are these are now matched play maps that you can use if you want to have that common language so you can be talking to somebody that you've never met and say, oh, well, we're playing on, you know, we're playing on Octarius number two. Um, you know, and I managed to get my I managed to get my uh, heavy weapon up to the oil rig over, you know, on the right flank. And you wouldn't need to show him what you were talking about because you'd have that common language, like a video game. Like how people used to talk about Counter-Strike and the flipping map that was the one map that everybody played with, like, long B and short B and, and long A. I'm reaching deeply into the recess of my childhood, but there was, like, an underpass. And then you went to the underpass and you died. And then you tried to run around the corner and you, you died. I mean, that was my experience. But it would be like that. You'd be able to talk about these maps like people talk about maps in a video game because they'd be a fixed thing. And I know some people are like, no, I don't want that. I want to be narrative and cool. But ironically, what's the one thing that the narrative guys have in Kill Team? They have fixed map layouts. So I'm only asking for something that narrative players, and you know, in the back of all the boxes, you know, there's those pages that you've probably never looked at. Go and look at them. There's maps there. There's maps for all the more narrative missions. If they can make a map for a narrative mission, then surely they can make a map for a match play mission. You know? And then they could make them with the amount of symmetry or asymmetry or whatever they want it to be. Right, and people could discuss them online, like, oh, you know, Octarius map number one, which side do you think is the pick for Defender? And then everybody would know. Everybody would be like, yes, this is usually the best pick for the Defender. And then you wouldn't have that issue that is so often rears its ugly, ugly head with asymmetric layouts, where it's just another thing that you can fail at. Right. It's just another thing where you get to pick the board edge and you pick the wrong board edge because you're not very good at the game and you compound your uh, ignorance. Yeah, I really want to see matched play layouts. We won't get them, but that's my thought. But that's not the only thing we're promised in White Dwarf issue 478. No. Engage. Why is this relevant? First of all, I genuinely like White Dwarf. So the idea of White Dwarf doing a multi-part series where they play through a Kill Team campaign, I genuinely think is cool because you get to see all their little painted up little Kill Teams and read the battle reports. And I know some people don't like that stuff. I know there are people that are subscribed to White Dwarf and they're literally just skimming through it for the rules content. And anything that's like discussion, eh. It might get red if you keep your white dwarf in the toilet, but generally speaking, you're just going to go, eh, give me, give me the rules. Ah, oh, there's no rules, no rules content for the two games I like. This was an absolute waste of effort. Why have I even got this? Oh. But if you actually are someone that enjoys reading the articles, first of all, that's cool because they're writing articles about the game that I'm most engaged with in my mind. Awesome. Yeah, but also, let's get realistic. Games Workshop is a public limited company and they wouldn't embark on a series, right? Because it says begin their campaign. So this is going to be a serialized thing over a number of issues. They would not begin a series supporting Kill Team in their monthly magazine if we were not going to get more lovely new releases and support. Right? Because I know that there are people that are being really fearful that we're at the end of the roadmap and therefore we're at the end of new stuff for Kill Team. And I've been speculating that maybe they're going to take the foot off it a little bit and, and slow down a little bit to give more, you know, the same way that Warcry is still supported, but it doesn't get a big box every quarter. Looks like that's not the case. When did you, you know, it looks like we're going to get lots more content in, in, in White Dwarf, which is, is positive. It means that we're going to get more content outside of White Dwarf as well. We're not just going to get kind of neglected so that you focus on something else. Positive stuff. I am, as you can probably tell, quite excited. Two thumbs up for this issue of White Dwarf. You know, I'm subscribed anyway. It's like a crapshoot because... Sometimes you do get a white dwarf through and it's like, wow, this is like two thirds, 
Right. It's not as bad as when I was a kid, because I've never liked the Lord of the Rings game. And sometimes as a kid, you'd get your white dwarf and you'd be like, Lord of the Rings on the cover, two thirds Lord of the Ring. I, I don't care. I've never played this game. Right. But this is going to be a cracking issue of white dwarf. However, I know already in the comments that people are going, but I want bespoke teams. Give us more bespoke teams. Why are they wasting our time with this stuff that isn't literally, there's nothing they can put in White Dwarf that will be as fulfilling in a special way to me as a bespoke team. Like, I get it. I want more bespoke teams too. I want a Necrons bespoke team. I want a Plague Marines bespoke team. I want a Croup bespoke team. I want a Dark Eldar bespoke team. I want all the bespoke teams and I want them now. But... But enhanced terrain rules could actually be a bigger shakeup for the meta if it's done properly and if it is something like here are some match play maps, right? Than a new bespoke team. And I think that the new bespoke teams are probably coming, okay? But they need to slow down a little bit. Yeah, if they want to keep supporting this for a whole another year of White Dwarf articles, they don't just want to rattle through all the bespoke teams. I think they're probably holding some back. They probably developed the first four, you know, at the same time. And now the next set of four bespoke teams is probably being developed. They're probably looking at the state of the game and thinking, OK, well, what what do we think we're going to do for Necrons, Croup, Plague Marines, and Dark Eldar. You know, we, we, we're going to have to work out where they're going to go. That's a good thing sometimes. Sometimes not getting things immediately is a good thing because it means it can react to where the meta is now. So, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I know that this has been a bit of a, a, a rambly video. I know that maybe you think I'm, I'm milking a topic to make a second video on the same topic. If you have enjoyed the video though and you like my style, please do give me a subscribe. That really helps me out. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. Okay. If you've got thoughts on this, if you've got especially, if you've got some idea of what you think the enhanced terrain rules or the expanded terrain rules will be, give me a comment. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike the video if you dislike it. Join the Discord. We've got about 50 people in the Discord. It's going really, really well. Um, and I hope you have an excellent rest of your day. Cheerio.